Hey there, today I will show you how to create this painting effect in Photoshop using uh, custom brushes, patterns and stock images and a lot of filters. And uh, let me show you the original image which is this. So you can turn an image like this into something like this. You can use any portrait that you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be a high resolution image like the one that I have here. We will make this in several parts. First we We'll prepare everything uh, for work. We have to create a custom pattern and some custom brushes. And you'll have everything in the stock folder so you can create uh, this uh, patterns and this uh, brushes. And then we will uh, work with those custom uh, presets to uh, create the background and to make um, this effect on the portrait. We'll also apply several filters. We will separate highlights and uh, shadows to apply this uh, to apply the filters and apply this paint uh, effect on them. And then we will create these outlines using uh, filters. So I hope you will like it and let's get started. Before we start working, we have to make some uh, preparation work. We have to create some custom patterns and some brushes. And for that, I press Ctrl Command O to open my stock folder. Here you will find everything that you need to create this, uh, this artwork. And I'll start by uh, creating the brushes first. I'll open these four images, which will be my brushes. I'll start with this one. It's, it's really easy to make this and you can do this in any Photoshop version. All you need to do is, uh, well, check the size of the image. This is 4000 by 4000. Uh, you should be able to turn this into a custom brush in any Photoshop version. Uh, previous versions like Photoshop CS2 or, th or CS3, I think the maximum size of the brush was 5000 pixels or uh, 2500 if you cannot uh, if the menu is grayed out here on on the edit if you go to define brush preset if it's grayed out it's because the image is too high and just you just have to make it smaller so the first thing i want to do is desaturate this i'll press shift control and u to desaturate it and then open the levels and just make this dark like that so this will be my brush it has to be it has to be black um even darker still because uh, if it's gray it will be semi-transparent and we don't want that and this will be my brush i'll go to edit define brush preset and i'll name it paint one i'll close it with, uh, close it with control w control uh, o to open again and i'll open this one this time and this one is ready i just have to go to edit um, define brush preset i'll name it paint two now I'll open this one and again go to edit, um, define brush preset, paint three, and this one as well, edit, define brush preset, and paint four. Now we have our brushes ready, we will use this uh, right now in a second. The next thing we need to do is create a pattern which we will use to create the background and also to put over the woman uh, well over this model uh, later on so again I'll press Ctrl command O to open my stock folder and I'll use this image to create my pattern and well here's the here's the image what we need to do is uh, use a filter which is available in all Photoshop versions and the filter is the offset filter if you go to filter choose other and choose offset uh, this will allow you to uh, move the image, uh, well, to offset it, I'll, sh I'll tell you that in a second. But before we do that, uh, we have to check the image dimension. So I'll press Ctrl, Alt and C to open the canvas size. And here you can see the, uh, the image size in pixels. Well, if it's not in pixels, just change it here. And you can see the, that the image is 3500 pixels wide by 4667 high. So. Uh, we need to use this numbers divided by two on the offset filter and it's easier to do that if you have round numbers um, So I'll change this to 400 660 This is a lot easier to divide by two and I'll click OK And you can see the image becomes a little smaller not much just six six pixels, but that's okay And now I'll go back to filter choose other and choose offset uh, I'll include this patterns and the brushes on the folder if you don't want to do this or if you cannot do it but I just want to show you how I did it and here you can see on the horizontal I have 
the numbers that I previously used, which are the same. So 1,750 is uh, 3,500 divided by two, and the same here. Make sure you check wrap around, otherwise you will get some really nasty things here. So choose wrap around and check the preview, and you can see what Photoshop does here. It just moves this image uh, by this amount of pixels to the right, and also by this amount of pixels up or down and you get this sort of tiled um, image here. What happens now, I'll click OK, is if I turn this into a, into a pattern, now this side over here will match perfectly with this side over here. And also this side will match perfectly with this one because it's the same image like split and the same with the top ones. The only problem that we have here are this, well, is this line here on the middle. And we have to fix that. I'll, create, I'll open the layer style, so double click, and I'll check the pattern overlay. I want to add this overlay again, but I'll use a smaller scale. Let's use 25 this time, and let's see how we can move this around. Or, well, let's, let's leave it to 100 and see how it looks like. Yeah, it looks a bit better because we have these big colors, and well, these big patches of color. And I also want to make it stand out a little from the background, so I'll check the color overlay as well. And you can see we added more detail on the on the face and on the face features. I still don't like the background here. Um, I'll have to make it bigger. And I don't like this part there. I'll make it bigger like that and just drag it maybe there. I will leave it like that. I will not add any more filters. I'll start making the final adjustments now. I'll create a color lookup first and I'll press Ctrl Command G to group it and I'll name this group adjustments and the preset that I use for this is the Cobalt Carmine here on the abstract and I'll change the blend mode to 27% on the normal blend mode then I'll add a color fill a solid color and I'll use this tone this really dark blue almost a purple tone and I'll change the blend mode to exclusion. I want it very saturated. Uh, if it's too strong, just uh, drop the, well, the tone like that and click OK. Then if you need, you can add some curves if you want more light. I want a bit more darkness on the mid-tones and leave the highlights like that. And now some gradient maps. Um, I use the pho uh, photographic toning uh, gradients. So let's uh, choose that photographic toning. And the first one that I used is the gold, uh, the gold one. I'll change this to list so I can see the names. Um, I used the gold one, which is this one. I'm gonna extend this like that. And the blend mode that I use for this is Hue at 50%. Uh, and you get this look. And then another gradient map, again for the photographic toning. And this time I use the sepia blue one. This one. But this one I just I deactivated, I just added here just in case I wanted to change um, to change the look again, I set this to hue at 57% and this is just well, so you, you have uh, an alternative color tone to it if you want. And that's it, then I use the camera raw as a filter, so uh, once you're happy with the color tone that you want, just press Command, Alt, Shift and E or Control Alt Shift E to create the stamp and